walk down the dairy aisle, and if we need to show that DVD to you, we will. With your shorts pulled up so far, your junk's hanging out. The black chair right there. No, that one right there. And I'll make sure they come in and talk to you. Okay. down here on your own yes correct okay um, and you know why you're here today what I, we're here to yeah. discuss okay um, the reason why you're here is because there are two sides to every story okay and uh, just so I'm clear why why are we here talking mm -hmm. so I know that you know what we're talking about oh because the uh, the incident there at uh, I believe Walmart okay can you explain a little further what incident <clears throat> Well, <clears throat> I was just, uh, you know, I came in shopping around for, uh, you know, some bargains on clothing, more than anything. And uh, you know, uh, things just get a little out of hand in there for you in Walmart. How's that? Well. So you came to Walmart to buy some clothes. They don't sell clothes down at the Walmart in Havasu? Oh, well, yeah, they do. It, it, uh, you know, uh, I go straight to the uh, discount aisles and, and see what they've got to offer there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so what happened at Walmart? Well, I was shopping around. Couldn't find anything in the clothing. Uh, couldn't find anything else that I was interested in. I left. Okay. Okay, so is that pretty much the meat and potatoes of, of what we're talking about as you went in to go shopping and you didn't find any good deals and then you left and that was it? Basically, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, think, I think you and I both know that there's a, it's a little bit more than that. Is that your picture, Michael? Yes. And that's the same picture on your driver's license, that's correct? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mr. Bailey, I'm going to. Um, I'm going to give you some really good advice right now. I've been here at Bullhead PD for 20 years, and I've been a detective for the last six years. And uh, it's in your best interest to tell the truth, uh, to take responsibility for your actions, and don't sit here and act like you don't know what's oh, going on. No. You know, because we really don't invite people into Bullhead PD that come to our Walmart mm -hmm. and leave without buying anything. We don't have those restrictions that if you come to one of our stores that you have to make a purchase, okay? So if you want to help yourself, you can be honest with Detective English here. Okay. You know, if you want to dummy up, then... No, I don't want to dummy up. Okay. I, want to, I want to get this thing uh, straightened out okay. as best as possible here. What kind of, what kind of vehicle do you drive? I've got uh, uh, Saturn okay. station wagon, and I've got a Chevy Colorado pickup. Okay, and what color is that? And that's yeah, a silver gray. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how good your eyes are. Does that look like your vehicle? Do you have a uh, utility box in the back of your yeah. truck? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. Who's that? That's me. That's you. Do you, do you want to start over? You want to start over and <clears throat> tell Detective English why you're here, or do you want to continue going this no, I'm just, stupid uh, route? No, I don't want to be on a stupid route. Okay. So why don't you start over and tell Detective English uh, why you know you're here today? Okay, well, uh, he explained to me yesterday that, uh, that uh, they said that I was uh, following people around, and, uh, and he said he's, that I was exposing myself. Well, I've never in my life exposed myself. I mean, really? maybe revealed. The clothing I had on was revealing, but as far as bare skin. Okay. I could see that, Michael, listen, these discs right here are of you um, exposing yourself and fondling yourself in the Walmart clothing section while you file, followed a young girl around in that section. Okay? Is that an accurate statement? Uh, yes, it would be. Okay. Um, there was a lady who caught you, who saw you with your genitals exposed, following no, her no. granddaughter. No, I'm no, telling I've you. I've never had my genitals exposed. Okay, all right. Uh, that's a fact. I, I would never do that. Okay. But you were touching yourself. Well, that's true. And, uh, you know, the clothing I had on might have been a little revealing, but there was no exposing my okay. genitals. Well, this isn't the only person. On the same day, this is... Uh, I'll type the narrative. April 20th, or 21st, is the date of the pictures that I showed you. Okay. I contacted... I have two witnesses that say that they've seen your genitals hanging out of your shorts, those blue shorts that you were wearing, that you pulled them up so high that your testicles were hanging out. Mm. One of them who had a little three-year-old girl with her while you passed her, passed them both through the dairy section, okay? Then there's video and witness accounts of you following this young girl through the clothing section on that same day and exposing yourself on the other side of the clothing rack, fondling yourself. The old lady in the wheelchair saw you. She saw your genitalia in your hand, and you weren't there shopping. Okay, so let's throw that theory out, because you were there for a total of about 15 to 17 minutes. So you weren't there shopping, okay? You went there with one thing in mind, and maybe you didn't have it in mind. I don't know. Maybe it's just something that happened <clears throat> and you responded on it. But that's why you're here. You're here to explain that. So well, please tell money, me the truth. I had money with me, and if I had seen something that I would have bought. You know what? More, I call bullshit. I call bullshit. You came to our Walmart in our city to do one thing and one thing only, to get your rocks off by looking at little girls. You walk down the dairy aisle, and if we need to show that DVD to you, we will. With your shorts pulled up so far, your junk's hanging out. You offended a mother and her three-year-old child. Should a three-year-old child have to look no. at your old penis and testicles? No. I don't think so. No. But you chose to do that. You obviously enjoyed that. And then if that wasn't good enough for you, you went over to the little girl's clothing aisle. Now, how many bargains do they have for 65-year-old men in the children's clothing aisle? Zero. None. I went and looked just to make sure that they didn't have a random men's clothing in, in the children's aisle. And while you were there, you had your hand in your pants masturbating. And then your testicles and penis again were hanging out from the bottom of your shorts. Can you explain that? And you want to tell me that you came up here to look for bargains? No, you didn't. You came up here to look for little girls. And you know what? I am offended by that. Michael. And don't and then, say that this is the first time that anything has happened. It, and it's not, because you went back and you did it again. 
just don't know where the narrative's at. But uh, you went back and you did it again. Um, and I have a whole other list of witnesses that saw that. In fact, that's how we found out who you were after that point. Because there was a, uh, an employee who watched you and followed you throughout the store and watched you and got in after you left and got in your truck. We got your plate. We ran your picture by everybody in these two incidences so far. And everybody, without hesitation, picked you out in this photo lineup as a man who did these things. So it's not the only time you've done it. Not only that, I've ran a criminal history on you. You've been arrested for it before, correct? Well, yeah. Okay, so okay. it's not the only time you did it. Yeah, back in 1971, you were arrested. And, and up in Oregon. Up in Oregon. Up in Eugene, in, right? In, in, in the Eugene area, mm -hmm. and it wasn't for, there was, a, it was a, a streaking back in the days when, when that was kind of a popular thing to do, and that's... And so I, that makes it okay. No, it that makes it okay no. now that you're walking around Walmart with your shorts pulled up to your fucking neck so your junk can hang out. No, that's yeah. not right. And yeah. then there was another occasion, right? In, uh, what was that other place in Oregon where you had another um, incident with some uh, indecency? Do you Baker. recall that? Baker. In Baker? You know what, Michael? We got all day long. All day long to sit here to, for you to jog your memory. So, I got coffee. I'll bring my lunch in if I need to. Tell us what's going on. You went into the store on April 21st. This is the day of the pictures that I showed you. Let's start from when you showed up. You get out and you go into the store. So tell me what happens. Tell me about your day or that, that moment in the uh, store. <clears throat> I was just uh, wandering around. You know, I wasn't... Uh, I don't know how to explain it. I mean, I wasn't... Uh, So are you denying that you did any of this no, stuff? No, no, I, 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 uh, <clears throat> I'm denying that, uh, I, I didn't realize that uh, I had exposure. Okay. Really, um, when your blue shorts are pulled up to here? My shorts were pulled up, but uh, I thought there was enough cover. Do you wear underwear or do you go commando? <clears throat> I wear underwear. You didn't wear them that, that day though, did no. you? Okay. okay. So why didn't you, why when you left your home that day you didn't put underwear on? Because you knew what you intended to do. Am I right? Michael, Michael all day long, this is all I do, is deal with people that commit sex crimes. And you know what? You can make this either easy on yourself or you can have me on your ass. No. And I'm going to tell you what, you don't want that. No. So get your mind right here and start start talking the truth. <clears throat> you left your home that morning. You put on those blue gym shorts and you didn't wear underwear. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, for the last ten years, my blood pressure has just been spiked like crazy, and so I've had almost no sexual desire over this last ten years. And every once in a while, I guess, get a little tingle of a feeling mm -hmm. sexually. And uh, even though it's like uh, those two incidences were the only two times I came down here since I've been here. I've been okay. here over a year. So what kind of situation gets that tingle going? <clears throat> Because the pattern that I'm seeing here is younger girls. Well, uh, <clears throat> I, I'm in the market. I'm looking for a, for a woman my own age. Okay, but you weren't looking for a woman your own age that day. Well, if you know, I'm. <clears throat> How old are you? Sixty-six. Sixty-six. 
I'm 54, so we're pretty close to the same age. You know what? Would not turn me on to see you walking down the dairy aisle no, with your no, junk no. hanging out. So that's not how you get a woman. No, it's not. You might want to check Match.com because I don't think that's one no. of their uh, dating uh, uh, ideas. No. Do you have a home computer? I've, I've got one, but I don't have an internet. When was the last time you had internet access? Never have. You've never had it? Then what's the purpose of having a computer? Well, I keep threatening to get a... What's the purpose of having a computer if you don't have internet access? I just, uh, I had a computer in Oregon. I've uh, had it for about 10 years, and it's been kind of down for the last couple. I never did get it. The, the, the point is, is that the Walmart in Havasu, the Walmart in Kingman, the Walmart in Timbuktu, all the Walmart the here are all the same. So there really was no reason for you to have to come all the way up to Bullhead to shop for some kind of deals, okay? And it's not like you were out there shopping and then all of a sudden, because you haven't had any sexual desire and you felt it come and you, you felt the sexual desire come up and you had to react on that, that isn't the case. You came specifically to the Walmart in Bullhead City for a reason. Because you could have done all that stuff in Havasu. And you could have had all that stuff happen to you and all those feelings happen to you in Havasu, but you didn't go there. That shows me intention. You came here for a reason. Am, am I pretty close? <clears throat> oh, let me have that pencil out of your pocket, please. Do you have any other sharp objects or oh, anything? I don't know. Got a knife or anything? No. Okay. What we're going to do right now is uh, we're going to let you sit here and think about it because I want to come back in and have you start telling the truth rather than sitting here and bullshitting us. All right? I'm going to call a spade a spade. You're lying to us. Don't appreciate it. So you take a moment. I'm you try, take a, I'm trying you, to be truthful. You t you're I'm trying to be truthful. There's a difference between trying to be truthful and being truthful. I'm going to give you five minutes. When we come back, be truthful. Don't try. Be. So you had some time to think about things. You've never done anything like this before. But of course you have. Uh, you know, for the last 10 years, I've, uh, you know, with this high blood pressure, and uh, I, I've been impudent now, and my wife left me 10 years ago, when I was married to her 20 years. Let me just start off, when you went, in, when you went to Walmart on the, on the 20th, okay, when you were wearing the blue shorts, um, in those pictures that I showed you, your truck was in the parking lot. Was that in your Was that your intention for coming to this Walmart here to act on the, those fantasies? Uh, well, I was coming up to this area to go over to Izod's. That is, was my plan, and buy some slacks, okay. in which I did. And the last time I was here, I also went up there trying to buy the same kind of slacks, the, the Izod golfing slacks, and uh, they didn't have my size. Because you know what, I, I'm at a point now where I'm not going to use nice terms or anything because you didn't care what a three-year-old child saw and her mother who saw it. And then after that, you go over into the girls' section. You've got a problem. You've got a problem and those feelings aren't going away. Because a month ago, you came and did the same thing that you've done 30 or 40 times previous to this. So, I'm... I'm discouraged that you won't take responsibility for your actions. Detective, I don't want to talk to him anymore. Okay. Anything else you want to say about this? <clears throat> no. Or say for yourself? 
I'm just not not sure what to say. I mean, I... So my concern is, is that even with us sitting here and even with this going on today, that later on when you're out there, because remember I spoke about a, a progression. You started out fantasizing. You don't want to talk about the in-between. You say that there's no pictures. No. You say that you've never fantasized. I, I, I can't say that I believe you, okay? But you've definitely progressed. And you're skipping that point. Well, that's something I've never, never been into. I don't, uh, you know, I mean, I, but you, you have. You could tear my house apart, and you'll never find anything like okay. that. And I've never had anything. And, and you may be right. Like that around. You may be right. And uh, you know. But I, I like I said, my my concern is the progression. Yeah. Okay. Well, a bit after a while, the fantasies don't become enough. So then you go out and you start going into the the uh, stores, and who knows what you've done between this and going out to the stores and uh, doing what you do to yourself. And what's next? <clears throat> I mean, you're making well, it. You're in, making it obvious. In this Michael. last year, th those are the only two times in this whole last year. Well, let me ask you something. Do you think that that's okay? No. So put yourself in an average person. You know, a person that's not involved shoes that sees that kind of stuff. Take yourself out of your shoes and put yourself in someone else's shoes, seeing you do what you do. What do you think should happen to a person like that? I don't know. Why not? I uh, just, uh, you know, I get so damn disgusted with myself over that. Uh, What's so exciting about doing something like that? Is there a level of excitement? No, it's... it's what do you uh, get out of that? That's why I don't understand why, why I do it, because, you know, I don't... Uh, there's no satisfaction in it. Okay. So, what I, I guess what I'm getting out of it is it, it's something that you're telling me that you can't help. Uh, well, I, I think I probably can. It's just, uh, you know, I feel like I, I, I'm not, you know, that episode with, with, with the shorts hiked up, now that was wrong. That was bad. You know, I mean, I'm covered up most all the time. It's it's just those blue shorts episodes that that was that was uh, crazy and and wrong. And it wasn't an accident. So don't try to paint that picture. No. You know it wasn't. So I guess my question is, what happens next? Yeah. What's the next step from here? And I'm not talking about from here. I mean, for you in your fantasy. Give me a minute, okay? Okay. I, I, I just, uh, you know, this last month I, I joined uh, uh, the uh, Desert Single Social Club. And there was no children there, not that I... <laughs> They're my age, mm -hmm. and these are the people I want to be around. And uh, I want, um, you know, I'm, I have trouble meeting people, and uh, you know, this is this is this is what's that, this, what my plan is next. You know, is, is to be more active. You know, I don't do bars. I don't, uh, you know, do any of those kind of things. All right, well, give me a second. I'll be I'll be back in. take a break. But, so that you know, Michael, you're going to be charged with the indecent exposure. Um, I'm going to set you in a cell for a little bit, and then uh, I got some things that I have to do involving this, because you're not allowed to leave, because now you're under arrest. You understand that? Okay? And then, um, I'll come back and get you in a in a little bit, okay? Okay, now what, uh, 
what's going to become of my car. And Where's it at? It's parked out in the lot. Okay, which one did you drive? The Saturn. The Saturn? Thought it had bad plugs. I'm sorry? Thought it had bad uh, valves or plugs. No, that, uh, I thought it had uh, injectors were bad and it turned out to be a bad plug okay. wire. Well, we'll worry about that when we get there. Uh, at the very worst, do you have somebody to come get it? No. Okay. The very worst, it would be towed to a, a yard. Max? Can you come and get a gentleman for me, please, and set him in a cell? Okay. Um, he's under arrest, um, but he does need his belt and whatever contents he has in his pockets. Okay. Can you go with uh, booking officer Hardy for okay. me, please? Am I going to be able to bond out? Um, you'll have to see a judge first, but go with Max right now and then... Uh, and when will I be able to see a judge? Um, well, the sooner we get this done, maybe the sooner we can get you to see a judge, but at the very latest tomorrow. But uh, like I said, I got some stuff I need to do. See black box on the floor down there? Go ahead to that. Thanks. Got a name or anything? Yeah, Michael Bailey. Michael Bailey. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.